Perfecto. All right. So it's very easy so far. And last, I think it's been... Okay, so this is this the normalized, normalized version of the water saturation, oil relative permeability, and the water relative permeability. But we need to denormalize it, okay, to come up with the representative, you know, relative permeability curve. And we do that. Here it's a little bit tricky. So, okay, so you have core data. You have several core data, but you also have field performance. You sort of have, you know, the one value that you think will represent the field better. In this case, in our example, Tarek Ahmed used in the example that based on everything, based on your analysis, your experience on the field, based on all the core data, based on the field performance, you believe that this value, the residual of residual oil saturation of 0 0.3 and conat water saturation is, you know, suit your reservoir better compared to individual core sample. Okay, so we will use this, the residual of the residual oil saturation of 0 0.3 and the Connaught water saturation of 0 0.27 to denormalize our relative permeability data, data which we normalized previously. Okay, so again, in your practice, maybe, or in most cases, you will have such value like this, a single value that you think from everything that you have, data, core data, field performance, discussion, everything, you come up with this value, okay? And after you get this, okay, after you know the residual oil saturation and Connaught water saturation that suit your reservoir better, you can then normalize. And we do that using the de desired formation residual oil saturation and Connaught water saturation, we will denormalize the data to generate the required relative permeability data. Okay, so it's very easy. Yeah, I, I take this 0 0.3, Connaught water saturation 0 0.27, and again, I will use this, the relative permeability of oil at Connaught water saturation, which I calculate previously, and the average relative permeability of water at residual oil saturation. Okay, so first we, we denormalize the water saturation using this computation. So water saturation is the reverse calculation from the previous step. So water saturation is the norm the normalized water saturation multiplied by one minus corner water saturation minus residual oil saturation close and then plus Connaught water saturation. Okay, so you get that here and then you just drag it like this. And then for the average relative permeability of oil normalized, okay, and the uh, normalized average relative permeability of water, you dot you denormalize using this formula five and formula six. So the denormalized relative permeability of oil is the average nor normalized relative permeability of oil multiplied by the average relative permeability of oil at Connaught water saturation here. So I just take, you know, the average normalized relative permeability of oil multiplied by the average relative permeability of oil at Connaught water saturation. And then you just do like this. And the same thing for the relative permeability of water, the representative or the denormalized relative permeability of water is the average normalized relative permeability of water multiplied by the average relative permeability of water at Connaught water saturation or at residual oil saturation, sorry. You do that. And then you just drag like this 
and then you can construct from you, you can construct the plot the representative the single representative relative permeability curve to represent your entire field you can construct like this again the horizontal axis is the true the denormalized the water saturation and for the vertical axis, we have the true, the denormalized relative permeability of oil and relative permeability of water. Very easy. And let me change the color to make it better. Okay, and this one for the oil. Okay. All right. So here you go. So we have discussed how we can extract a single representative relative permeability curve that will represent our reservoir from several core sample data, from several relative permeability data that we obtain from special core analysis report. Okay, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Angman videos. Thank you.